so good I had to blow again. I said, hey, bartender, hey, man, look here. Television is now experiencing technical difficulties, and this movie is the reason. It's the motion picture that grabs TV by the dials and won't let go. Prime time. Mr. President. What? There's something on television I think you should see. Welcome to paradise. Morning mist in two natural fragrances. Rose petal and hairy. Morning mist. Hey, that's right. You get 1,500 good hits all on one record. There's only side A. On side B, there's a bonus, bonus, bonus. Well, Nancy, I'm going to give you $50 for that shirt. Oh, sure. <laughs> Prime time. It goes beyond 25 inches. A hundred dollars for the dress. What? Well, it's a test, you say? That's right. Prime time. It goes beyond your living room. Oh, doubt about it. Nancy's T-shirt. And Nancy. You are a carpenter. And she is a lady. But you'd better not kid yourself. It's gonna be my baby. The movie that TV will never get hey, is now the movie that gets TV. But good. <laughs> Non-stop laughter in the comedy Too Wild outrageous, too explosive, to be shown in prime time. It'll blow your tubes. Prime time. They came empty-handed, but left with a fistful. Invasion of the penis snatchers. 
Here's a movie that makes Mel Brooks's humor seem sophisticated. Woody Allen's statuesque. It's Loose Shoes. A movie about ordinary people who get fed up and fight back. With Bill Murray. What the hell is this crap? You call this quiche? It's slap! And this booyah base is nothing but tripe! That's right. Yeah! <laughs> Who made this chocolate mousse? You gotta use real cream! Or you don't make it at all, you know what I mean? WKRP's Howard Hesman. Yeah. All these guys came back to tell their stories. Buddy Hack. Society to oppress and prevent involuntary tinkling. J.P. Morgan. The kid won't stop kissing. Avery Schreiber. My pits are killing me! And a few surprise guests. Based on a joke told by Earl Butts. Tight pussy loose shoes and a warm place to shit. Tight pussy loose shoes and a warm place to shit. Tight pussy loose shoes and a warm place to shit. That's it. That's it. Bring your friends or come alone. Anyway. But don't miss loose shoes. You'll say. Dig oh, it. Good shit. Fuck off, folks. What is Mondo? It's a tough question, you know. That's strange. Isn't that a strange question? Put a card in the chute. Book it to the pew. From a big ball of life. What is Mondo? Donkey pie. I'm proud to say I'm an actual genetic mutant. We're just about ready to show that film, huh? Let's show it. Good evening. I'm Mr. Mike, inviting you to come with me into a world where the bizarre is commonplace and the commonplace bizarre. It is an odyssey of aggressive weirdness. Whatever raw, savage acts man's hellish brain can conceive, our cameras are there, scouring the globe, Seeking out the cheap thrills, the pointless perversities, the shabby secrets, the grotesque, the pathetic, unholy. Uh, the unholy, the twisted, the macabre, the outré, the eerie. Uh, the mystifying, the sky above, the mud below. Blue Water, White Death, in search of Michael Rockefeller. Come with me to the incredible world of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video. A crazy world of Mondo Video. It isn't pretty, 
Amsterdam, or as the Dutch call it, City of Cats and Canals. A dangerous combination, and yet, miraculously, there hasn't been a cat drowning in over 300 years. Incredible, you say? Let's stop in at Europe's oldest cat swimming school and talk to instructor Hans Houten. One, two, and breathe. One, two, and breathe. Keep the toes and the tail pointed. Claws in. And don't be afraid to get those whiskers wet. You do it when you drink milk. Okay, here we go. Yumping, yiminy, you're swimming. Now remember that flutter kick. Moments like this make it all worthwhile. When I can take a student who's scared of the water, help him conquer his fear, and give him a sense of pride and self-confidence, well, you can see it. It carries over into other areas of their lives. Boots here couldn't swim a stroke when she first came, but look at her now. Come on, move those paws. Okay, that's great. Take a shower. Bye, Yingo. 2.30. Time for my advanced intermediate class. Everybody in the pool. Just lovely. 
but it's only a small part of Holland's complete feline safety program. For this is not just a swimming school, it is also the Royal Dutch Hang Gliding School for Cats, located high atop Amsterdam's tallest building. Usually land on their feet. Oh well, good thing he's got eight more lives to go. Coming up next. Big stupid dinosaurs that don't look very real. Jojo, the human hot plate. Looking up Cheryl Teague's dress and much more after this word from our sponsor. A word for the wise. What you've just seen is tame compared to what follows. Footage so brutal and candid that many have called it offensive. Most, most have called it offensive. So get the kids, the crazies, the old people, get them around the set and turn up the volume because you're about to enter the astounding world of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video. Man has many names for the Almighty. Buddha, Jehovah, Allah, Vishnu. But here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, they call him the Jack Lord. Yes, unbelievable as it may sound, these Midwestern Americans actually worship Jack Lord as a living God. Let us visit the mainland temple of the perfect wave and join the service already in progress. suspects in the eyes of the Jack Lord, guilty until proven innocent. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to contact a lawyer, but you have no right to smuggle heroin onto the island. You have no right to lure young girls into prostitution. You have no right to kidnap a high-ranking official. You have no right to be a deranged Vietnam vet sniper with hooks for hands. There is insufficient evidence to bust you at this time. Bust me! Bust me! I can't bust you, sister! I did it! I did it! I can't bust you, people! Only the Jack Lord can bust you! I never bothered much about religion. And then one night, Jack Lord suddenly appeared to me on my Magnavox. I could see him clear as day. From that point on, I was a believer. Let him be your TV guide. Yes. Let him into your home once a week. Yes. He'll fill your life with joy yes. and suspense yes. and adventure. Oh, yes. He showed me more than the secret of life. He showed me the secret of television. A bowl of bridge mix, six or seven Mai Tais, and I'm in heaven. Turn on the tube and see the light. And let me tell you something. You don't need no Zenith Chroma Color System 3. No. You don't need no fancy 26-inch Sony Trinitron. No. You don't need no giant seven-foot Advent Video Bean. No. no. The Jack Lord helped me kick Valium. And now to close out today's service, I'm going to ask the lovely Princess Wahini to come forward and sing hymn number 48, the final episode. While dancing the hula. Remember, friends, every motion has a meaning.
seal off the universe and patch me through to God. upon those that had betrayed him, the pimps, the blackmailers, the junkies, the arsonists, the loan sharks, the psychos, the hip men. And he smiled upon them and he said, Look him, Dano, murder one. Fifth, 1979. A man waits nervously on a Washington street corner as our hidden cameras record the event. In that violin case, top secret film of a terrifying new weapon, film which he has agreed to sell for $20,000. The transaction goes smoothly. And within minutes, the film is on the Mondo plane, winging its way to our headquarters in Rome. Why do we risk the jail terms, the beatings, the homosexual rape, the $20,000? Because as top Italian journalists, we feel a moral obligation to expose this awesome threat posed by the American war machine. Laser bra, 2000. So this will be the top secret the film we've water. heard so much about. Are you about ready to show this thing now? Uh, okay, let's do it. I see you've brought the Mondo Bunny. Yes, I thought the trip would do him good. This is a big trap for Mondo video. Look, it's a baby. It's a puppy and a baby. I think you have been cheated, Mr. Michael. Perhaps you could have spent the 20000 more wisely. Do you think we could get the money back? Son of a bitch. But exposing the awesome threat of the American war machine would have to wait. Our cameras are on the move. From the fear-riddled ruins of Machu Picchu to the radioactive headwaters of the Nile. From the slime-drenched rainforests of Sumatra to Paris, France, or City of Frogs, as I like to call it. 
the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, the Left Bank, the Champs Elysees, and of course the magnificent French cuisine. But here we found a unique restaurant, a restaurant where American tourists go to be treated like dirt. Unbelievable, you say? Well, step inside and see for yourself. Bonjour, you stupid American pigs. Welcome to the Café No American. Here are your menus. Uh, these aren't menus. These are phone books. What does it matter to you, you ignorant scum? You can't read French anyway. I will tell you what's on the menu. For hors d'oeuvre, we have glazed rabbit pellets. And then for entree, we offer poached dog lips, ground monkey throat, swan with mold, braised hog nostrils, minced dolphin lang loaf, and chicken in a mask. Uh, might I suggest the speciality of the evening, the candied mink brains. Uh, <clears throat> pardon, uh, how is that prepared? In the usual way, madame. And then our chef actually takes a whiz on it. It's all in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll have uh, that and the uh, pellets. I'll have the same and bring Cubby here a half order of the uh, ground monkey throat. No, I want dessert first. Ah, for dessert we have donkey pie, branded kittens, or moths in wine. I'll have the moths. Very bon. I will take your order to the chef. But first, allow me to flambe your table. It oh. is a French custom. Oh! 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 I'm sorry. It's not my table. Well, here in Australia, these lingerie models cook up a different kind of dinner. We, the makers of Mondo Video, are sorry and ashamed to have to insist on showing the following footage. A boy decapitated by blood-crazed goose. Nazi oven mitts. Gig Young's groceries. Girls in net stockings kissing each other. And this startling confession. Hello. When the Mondo crew asked me to appear on their celebrity deformity section uh, of the show, I... I really couldn't refuse, honestly. Uh, in fact, I leapt at the chance. I guess you could say I'm a celebrity. i uh, been in the public eye for a couple of years now, and uh, I'm also deformed. In fact, I'm proud to say I'm an actual genetic mutant, genetically mutated from birth, and that mutation manifests itself uh, in my feet. Now, as you'll see here very shortly, uh, the two sets of middle toes on both my feet are webbed by an actual web of skin, not unlike a reptile. And uh, just to show you that this isn't some cheap makeup trick, I'm going to take a Phillips head screwdriver and I'm going to pass it on either side of the webbed mass between the toes of both my feet and then actually take the screwdriver and prod the web of skin here so that you see that in fact it is organic and real and much a part of me. And uh, I'd like you to keep that in mind next time you see me. Stay with us for Marcel Cousteau, the swimming mime, when Mondo Video continues. That concludes the milder portion of our film. Now we move on to the truly tasteless, the vile, the degrading, the repulsive, the monstrous, the maniacal. Quite frankly, many of the people in the Mondo crew refused to work on the following footage. Judge for yourself as we enter the fantastic world of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video.
Be ready. The Mongo truck is coming to your nation soon. Spanning the earth, our top Italian journalists ask you the important questions of our time. Do you believe in capital punishment for elephants? I certainly do. I believe in it wholeheartedly. For elephants? Oh, definitely. I don't think they deserve to live because I want to make more troubles. Capital punishment for, for, for them? Yes. No. They should be in, in, in institutions. They should get 15 to 25 years to life. If they commit a violent crime, I think they should be punished. You know, if they kill somebody, you know? Well, I tell you the truth. I'm not a lawyer, and I don't want to say maybe I'll say the wrong thing. So I don't know. <clears throat> if they kill people, let them be killed too. Then they put them in jail, they get out, and they do it again. I feel that they should go to jail, because they're going out there and killing people, innocent people, for no reason. So I feel if they do that, they need to go to jail. What are you going to kill uh, a dog or uh, They don't understand what they're doing. If he didn't know the crimes he was committing, I see no reason to uh, kill him. The evidence must be there. Yeah, it must be witnesses, because otherwise, I don't believe in it. If they kill somebody, if they rob, they steal, they should, they should be punished just like anybody else. But there's no rest for the Mondo as our cameras record this never-before-seen film of the Loch Ness Monster seized in drug bust. Indisputable photographic proof that these creatures do exist. Six months and $40,000 later, at last, we are ready to expose the awesome threat posed by the American war machine. Laser Brock, 2000. Imbecile. While halfway around the world in the tiny island kingdom of Bhutan, and then we took our cameras to Tokyo to see what method of birth control Japanese men prefer. Flypaper. 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 Iwanaka. Flypaper for me. Well, here in America, people don't eat gelatin dessert. They jump in it. It's the latest fad, and that means everybody's doing it. Doing what? Having their toes webbed. Looking up Cheryl Teague's dress. And those American gals, well, they're dropping their dream boats for creeps. That's right, the losers are winning out. And if you don't believe us, perhaps you'll believe these glamorous Hollywood starlets. When my date blows his nose in his handkerchief and then looks at it, I can't say no. Blackheads drive me wild. Dandruff sends me. And dirty fingernails? <sighs> Doormen who smell their fingers. Pimples on the back sends my pulse racing. When I know that a guy is over 40 and still lives with his mother, I just can't help myself. It doesn't take much. Acne guns my motor. When my boyfriend's so fat I can't see his belt, my heart skips a beat. I think it's so cute guys miss the toilet. I'm a pushover for loose dentures. So, hello? Hello? I go the limit for a guy with bad breath. And if he has plaque on his teeth, wigga wigga. Guys who sneeze in their hands and wipe it on their pants. Get me hot. I think fellows who drink too much and can't get it up are dreamy. If you want to get the first base with me, honey, spit when you talk. When I reach down and feel a firm colostomy bay, I know I'm with a real man. I wouldn't kick Ralph Nader out of bed. And speaking of the war between the sexes, Gig Young's groceries. Very mondo, very bizarre. But not so bizarre as this training camp for Kate Smith's pallbearers. These Mexican sex aides and the mouse princess hit by two trains.
More of this when Mondo Video continues. Someone once said, I think it was Luke Gehrig, it takes a big dog to weigh a ton. Coming up next, this report on radioactive lingerie, the women who sell it, the women who wear it, and the tragic results. But first, please welcome Mr. Sid Vicious. We're gonna miss you, Sid. Sid Vicious, a very Mondo kind of guy. Two years, and a quarter of a million dollars later, we are finally ready to expose the awesome threat posed by the American war machine. Bra, 2000. It's been a long time since we were all here in the room together. Huh? Still, Still no word on Michael Rockefeller? Hi, kids. How are you? Uh, Jeez, uh, things been pretty good? Or you people? Okay, I guess we're just about ready to show that film, huh? Let's show it. This better be good. Uh, <clears throat> remove the button, yes. Let's see. Until now, war has traditionally been a man's profession. But with the introduction of women into the U.S. combat forces, new weapons are required to make optimum use of the female soldier's unique physical attributes. Laser Bra 2000 is the most devastating of these weapons. Besides turning the female foot soldier into a curvaceous killing machine, these deadly foundation garments support, lift, and separate. Shown here in recent tests conducted at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, female sharpshooters demonstrate the uncanny accuracy and firepower built into these experimental brassiers.
Here is one weapon we hope will never fall into enemy hands. But if you think these lasers are something, the other day I saw a cowgirl packing a pair of 38s. If you're going to sell those puppies, I want the one with the pink nose. You are a donkey ride, Mr. Mike. Many of these men have eaten human flesh, but more about them later. Aberdeen, Scotland, breeding grounds for deviants. One is reminded of an old Scottish proverb. The only difference between a woman and the sheep is you can't make a sweater out of a woman. Incredible photographs, but not so incredible as this woman who dares to predict the future of Jean Dixon. I predict that Jean Dixon will be a lonely old lady that nobody likes. Well, here in downtown Newark stands the world's largest mound of garbage. Enough garbage to feed and clothe every Albanian with a little left over to sleep on. Coming up next, Japanese bathing in dolphin blood, fried money, and Christmas on other planets, when Mondo Video continues. Limousines for some of Mr. Mike's guests, furnished by East Wind Limousine Service, in exchange for this promotional announcement. As the producer of this movie, I must apologize for the quality of the following footage. The subject matter was so loathsome, 
so ghastly and appalling that no legitimate film lab would touch it. But in no way do these minor technicalities blunt the stark, naked impact as we enter the exotic world of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video. Absolutely not, because it's very unsafe. Why? why? I mean, well, if they can't, if they can't talk and they have to really say something, they can't say it. I mean, so what's the point in it? Well, uh, uh, if you take your hands off the steering wheel, I think that'd be hazardous. I would not let them drive. It's this is a type of question that I, I really can't say yes or no. I think if a person could drive and they would be able to talk with, if they could drive with one hand and talk to another person in the car, then I think it's something that would be allowable. But if it's going to interfere with their, with their driving. They're gonna go into an oasis, just go right off the highway, into a, you know, into a rest area, and just clear out that whole rest area. They hit a gasoline truck, boom! Everything goes, you know. And hundreds of people are killed, like over in Spain. They can't talk for boat and drive. That's not permitted. No, I would say no. I think it's dangerous. Oh, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> no. It's a tough question, you know, but, you know, somebody's got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> you know, I hate to be the one, but, you know, no, they can't do it. But let's move on to Libya, where people have another opinion. Sound rolling. Okay, quiet please. Can I have background action? Camera. Camera rolling. 
Chopper, get ready. Slate? Armageddon, crowd scene, take one. Okay, first two groups from both sides, come through, please. Chopper? Okay, go now. Good, just take it slow and hover. Doc, got the train pigeon wound up? Right. Last couple, look off at the postcard stand. And stop. Good. And continue. Doc, release the pigeon. Keep it moving. Give me some energy now. Effects Unit 1, ready with the smoke machines? Effects Unit 1, off to go. Pretzel man, we're professionals, right? Why are we looking at the camera? Can I have a group of 10 from the left? Brown car in. Background people, more energy now. Come on. Brown car, come through. People, don't bunch it up like that. Brown car, move it. Come on, hustle through, brown car. Move it. White car in. Okay, on the right, who do we have? Uh, ben and Peggy, come through, please. That's it, do your stuff. Unit two on the scaffold. What? You ready with the debris? Yeah. Unit three, explosion. No, don't think. Just fix it. We're going in 30 seconds. Where is everybody? Skip and Jane, please come through. Green car through. Chopper, bring her in. Green car through. Green car through. Who the hell hired this guy? Ted, please, I want you to walk through and casually head to the postcard stand. Driver, you're fired! Okay, Ted, turn right. Good, and uh, go past the pretzel man. Beautiful work, Ted. Nice. Okay, Manuel, you're on. Now, lots of energy. Come through trucking. Beautiful, beautiful. Oscar time. Okay, people, here we go with the big one. In 10 seconds, don't anticipate the blast, please. All effects unit, stand by. Unit one, smoke. Okay, unit three, explosion. I'm in six. All backup units, stand by. Three, two, one, go. Hit it. What's wrong? I think the wire did. Look, it's your job to make it work. Doc, give me another bird, please. Give me seven more people. Keep the action going. Everything's working now. Okay, all right. This is it. Everybody stand by. Five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, it's wrong. The feeling's all wrong. Starting positions, please. I'm asking too much of you people. Cut. Let's do it again, please. Often tonight, you've heard me use the word mondo. Perhaps you wonder what it means. I think Sylvia Schickman explains it best. I have a, a poem here that wasn't written uh, by me, that I was directed to, what called by ESP recently, what call it, when I took a poetry course many years ago, I was recently directed where to find it, what the name was and everything. I didn't know where it was. So, uh, this was in a new school, it was written by Jan Beeman. Charlie and Lorraine, only I will change it to the Golden Rose Corita. He refused to acknowledge any names. She refused to acknowledge any names. He took off his name. She took off her name. He took off his age. She took off her age. He took off his clothes. She took off her clothes. She put on his clothes. He put on her clothes. She put on his age. He put on her age. She put on his name. He put on her name. She agreed to acknowledge all names. He agreed to acknowledge all names. Sylvia Schickman on the meaning Sylvia of Mondo. Coming up next, nose binding among Chinese Jews, new hope for the criminally insane, and the song of the harpooned humpback whale when Mondo video continues. <laughs>
city where 11 million people live, love, and kill. New York, my town. I'm here in front of Manhattan's swank party doll lounge where every morning Gotham sophisticos gather to hear Root Boy Slim, a singer with a strange message. What you're about to see is not for the weak. It is, in fact, not even for the strong. So come with me as we enter the remarkable world of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video.
put a bag over their hearts and they're all the same. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Nixon and the Mondo Video Dancers. Pat, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt with this important warning from your local authorities. This is a man in a dog suit. He is a member of a radical underground organization. Notice his uniform, the artificial celluloid tongue, the flappy cotton ears. Notice that he has no hair on his forearms or hind legs. His snout is obviously false. You can see clearly the contours of his face. Protect your children. The radical underground is once again preying upon the generous nature of the public. Do not be taken in by this charade. institutions because the poor, sweet, wonderful souls, they may forget and do something to themselves with a cigarette. Thank you. Happy Merry Christmas, everybody. Coming up next, Delhi of the Damned. Stern measures for stuffed animals. And obscene gestures of other lands when Mondo Video continues.
archipelago, just off the Great Barrier Reef. These Dayak Indians wait anxiously for the American cargo planes, now two days late. The natives are worried. They do not understand. Okay. The long vigil is over. The iron birds have come. Simple islanders are the victims of a wasteful society. Once a month, the planes fly over, dropping not food and medical supplies, but America's discarded fans. He flops them and jets them of a decadent culture. Once a proud and industrious people, now they have forgotten their traditional ways. Their fishing boats lie rotting in the sand, the nets torn and unmended. They have turned their harpoons into tetherball poles. where once hung ancient tribal masks celebrating the glory of their ancestors, now hang psychedelic posters and op art. Circumcision altars defiled by crazy fun. These debased and pathetic creatures have forgotten the ways of nature. Even their sacred fire is a fraud. do they make sacrifice to the old gods. Now they are content to sit on the beach and worship lava lamps. a people without hope, sad, pitiful, a disgrace to humanity. These fierce warriors are now spineless slaves to gadgets and gizmos. Where is their manhood, one is forced to ask? How can they live in such shame and humiliation? It is not sympathy one feels, but almost a physical disgust, a repulsion, so deadly, so total, and so... Oh my God! They... They've got Mr. Mike. Does it hurt? Only when I laugh. Leave him! Leave him! <laughs> Get back to the mountain out, Chuck! Look out, Jay! <laughs>
Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> That's all next week. I'm going to be a busy guy that week, but for right now, this is Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. They can rip down the drive-in screen but they can't get rid of that greasy little dark place where the drive-in still lives in our heart. <laughs>